Thank you, Chair. Commissioner, colleagues, first of all, let me to thank Anna Fatiga for her excellent job in making this report uh, being presented to us uh, for our attention and consideration. The EU-Afghanistan Cooperation Agreement on Partnership and Development uh, brings EU relationship uh, with Afghanistan to a new qualitative level of mutually beneficial cooperation. Undeniably, Afghanistan has made a very significant progress in many fields, rightly mentioned by Anna before. However, security concerns, corruption, human rights issues and other problems still persist, endangering the current achievements. Afghanistan is at a crucial point in its history as absent further efforts, all of the progress and sacrifices hitherto could be wasted. Withdrawing coalition forces prematurely could have negative consequences and should be decided by all consulting allies. The European Union is committed to a long-term partnership with Afghanistan. Therefore, following the November 2018 Geneva Conference on Afghanistan, the European Union announced a financial package worth of uh, 474 million to support state building and public sector reforms, health, justice and elections, as well as to address migration and displacement challenges in Afghanistan. I hope that this agreement embedded in a regional approach which includes Afghanistan neighborhood, the global powers and the international community can pave the way for a better future of the country. The first step to the path of stability is peace. Achieving a peace agreement between uh, warring parties in Afghanistan is a priority at the moment. And I hope very much that the Qatar process of negotiations will include Afghanistan government in very essence of this meaning. In particular, a peace deal cannot compromise the values of democracy, human rights and rule of law. The citizens of Afghanistan deserve this. Thank you, Chair.